the next question and inshallah this will be the last question that we'll be taking the question is my name is Muhammad Salim from Dhaka Bangladesh I am 22 years old how can I improve my knowledge about Islam and how can I strengthen my belief what types of books should I read Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Isra chapter number 17 verse number 8 Inna hadha al-Qur'an yahdi lillati hiya aqwam wa yubashiru al-mu'minin al-lazina ya'amaluna al-salihat anna lahum ajran kabira Surely this Qur'an guides to that which is most upright and gives glad tidings to the believers those who do good deeds for them is a great reward the first thing that you should do is read the glorious Quran if you know Arabic as a language that is the best you should try to learn Arabic as a language but if you do not know Arabic as a language you should read the glorious Quran along with the translation you should be connected to the glorious Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ra'ad chapter number 13 verse number 28 Verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find satisfaction. You will find true peace, happiness and satisfaction if you read the glorious Quran. If you are connected to the glorious Quran, the more you are connected to the glorious Quran, you will find success, peace, happiness, satisfaction in your life. You will have success in this world as well as in the hereafter. So the first step that you need to read the glorious Quran along with the translation. You should also read the commentary of the glorious Quran and in the English language one of the best translation along with brief commentary it is the translation by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Besides that we also have the translation Sahih International which is a good translation and you should also read the tafsir of the glorious Quran to have an in-depth understanding of the glorious Quran. One of the best tafsir, it is Tafsir ibn Kathir and it is translated in English. Besides this, you should also read the Ahadith of Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You should read Sahih al-Bukhari, the summarized version of Sahih al-Bukhari which is translated in English by Darus Salaam. Inshallah, it will get you closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will give you a better understanding of the deen. Besides that, you can also read Bulugh al-Maram, wherein there are hadith related to ahkam, related to rulings. But you should take care because there are certain zaif hadith, certain weak hadith. Besides this, you can also refer to Islam QA. Islam QA it is a very good website islamqa.info if you have any questions regarding islam you can ask on this website and many a times the questions they are already answered most of the questions they are available in their database so many a times you don't have to ask the question because they are already answered and this is available in several languages but if the answer is not available, you can very well ask them the question and inshallah they will respond to you. Besides this, you can also watch Peace TV that is available in English, Urdu, Bangla and Chinese. You can watch the various Peace TV speakers. For example, Sheikh Asim Al-Hakim, Sheikh Salim Al-Amri, Dr. Muhammad Salah. All these speakers, you can watch them. And inshallah, it will get you closer towards the deen. It will give you better understanding of the deen, of the religion of Islam. Besides this, you can also watch on YouTube the same speakers. And you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel of my father, Dr. Zakir Naik. And besides that, you can also follow him on Facebook. With these few tips, inshallah, it will get you closer towards Islam, will get you closer towards the deen. And you can also read books of your interest. For example, if your interest is science, you can read books on Quran and modern science. So in this way, inshallah, it will get you closer towards the deen, towards better understanding of the religion of Islam. And besides that, you can also visit the website zakirnaik.com, wherein a lot of material regarding Islam is present, regarding Dawah, 
the techniques of doing dawa how to do dawa a lot of material is present on this website so inshallah if you follow these few tips inshallah it will strengthen your belief it will strengthen your religion and it will draw you closer towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards the religion of islam and the most important thing is your niya your niya it should be for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him said innam al bin niyat that the deeds they are based upon the intentions so your intention should be solely to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it should be for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever you're gaining any knowledge it should be for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gaining knowledge it is very rewarding and very important in islam that's the reason the first revelation given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it was not to offer salah it was not to give zakah it was not to perform hajj but it was iqra read as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah iqra chapter number 96 verse number one iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq read recite proclaim in the name of thy lord who has created you and our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him said talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every single muslim so you need to acquire the right knowledge and if you do so inshallah it will get you closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and besides acquiring this knowledge you should also try to implement it and to teach it to other people first is acquiring knowledge the right knowledge and after that implementing it in your life and then propagating it teaching it to those people who are not aware of it 